Plus, Darwin said in order to prove evolution, which is the number one alternative to, to God, you've got to be able to prove transitional forms, one animal transitioning into another. And all through the fossil record and life, we don't find one of these, a crocoduck. Now, I'm sure a lot of people already saw this clip and know it is one of the most nonsensical, dishonest, strawman representations of the theory of evolution. People call it obviously fallacious, fractally wrong, and self-refuting, all for very good reasons. However, in this short video I'm going to approach this from a different perspective. Even without arguing whether Kirk Cameron and his best pal in the whole wild world Ray Comfort know that they are being dishonest, we know that this non-argument was aimed at someone. Some people might actually not realize why it is so wrong in so many ways, be it due to lack of education, unfounded trust in the words of the preachers of their religion, or creationism in general, or unfounded trust in the world of supposed experts shown on TV. Whatever the reason, if not this exact argument, but its variants are, believe it or not, still being used. When the night has come And the land is dark And that moon is the only light we will see No, I won't be afraid No, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand, stand by me So darling, darling, stand by me Oh, stand by me So Instead of debunking the crocoduck or the dogfish, which a lot of people much smarter than me did already, I'm going to draw an analogy. As far as I'm aware, even the most stalwart Yana's creationists agree that modern breeds of dogs were not created by God in their current forms, but rather bred by people. I spoke at a college in Boston one time. They said, Hoban, you can come speak at our college if our professors can ask you any questions they want. Because we like to show to students how dumb you Christians really are. I said, I would be honored to come for that. So I showed up. There were six professors and all their students in the room. You know, I felt like Daniel in the lion's den. I said, folks, I got my charts out. I said, folks, I believe the Bible. I believe 6,000 years ago God made everything. And 4,400 years ago there was a flood that destroyed everything. Noah saved two of each kind, not species, kind, on the ark. And then I told them what they believe, because most of them don't know what they believe, you know. 20 billion years ago, Big Bang. 4.6 billion years ago, uh, Earth cooled down. Rained on the rocks for millions of years and turned them into soup, and the soup came alive. One professor was really upset. He said, Hovind, do you realize there are hundreds of varieties of dogs in the world? I said, oh yeah, there's a bunch. He said, do you mean to tell me that you believe all those dogs came from just two dogs on Noah's Ark? Do you expect me to believe that? I said, sir, would you look at what you're teaching your students? You're teaching your students that all those dogs came from a rock. He didn't have any more questions after that. But anyway. If you look past another rather insulting strawman, you see that Hogan here agrees that all modern breeds of dogs were created by people. And this is exactly what we need for the purposes of this analogy. Let's take two random yet vastly different morphologically breeds of dogs. For instance, a chihuahua and a chow chow, or a mastiff and a poodle. Let's say we don't know what sort of dogs were the ancestors of modern breeds, even though we actually do. That doesn't really matter for the purposes of this argument, because what we need to know is what they weren't. And we know they weren't this. And that simple analogy is enough to show how ridiculous the proposition of crocodiles, fish dogs, and all the other fictional species are, and exactly why. We do not expect a common ancestor of two different offsprings, 
no matter how far or how close they are on the tree of life, to be a poorly thought out mishmash of their current forms. And you shouldn't either, whether you agree with the theory of evolution or not.